Hi, and welcome back to Aragon Only Adventures. This trip takes us back to Hansel's Safaris in South Africa. Today, this video is gonna be about the hog fest, the hogapalooza. We had an absolute blast hunting warthogs. Africa is an absolute beautiful place to go. Whether you're going for sightseeing and photo tours, photo safaris, or you're going on your own hunting safari, if you ever get a chance, you must go to Africa. Once you've gone one time, Mother Africa will leave you wanting more. We were out here with Daniel, Jerry, Eric, and myself. We were the hunters. Daniel's actually one of the trackers there that was helping us out at the lodge. He kept asking if he could shoot something with the air gun. He wanted to shoot something with the Bushbuck 45. So we took him out one morning looking for warthogs and boy, we found a dandy. Take, take, straight up on the front leg, halfway in the middle of the body. Okay, it's gonna be at 65 meters. There's another one, that's oh, a duck. Okay, wait, wait for the pig. Are you steady? Okay, wait. There we go, when that one stands. Okay, take it, wait. Right, behind, there we go, behind the shoulder. Perfect, on the shoulder. Great shot, Daniel. Daniel did a fantastic job. He planted him with a 70-yard shot and put that warthog down right where he stood. Fantastic. This safari was an 11-day safari, and my cameraman, Jerry, that came along, he said he wasn't gonna work for free. I didn't understand that, but um, I agreed. I said, that's fine with me, and his turn was next. We let him up on the Bushbuck 45, and he took a dandy of a warthog. We were positioned in a blind, and this blind, it was a little tough to get the video because this blind was actually made for the archers that come to Hansel Safaris. Most of the hunting we do there is spot and stock. We got in that blind that day with Jerry and several warthogs came in to drink. The wind caught us on some of them and they spooked off. A lot of different birds come in. It was fantastic being able to sit in a blind and watch all that wildlife come in around us and be so close. Well, we're in the blind this morning. We came up to, uh, here to get us a wood hog and uh, we're dealing with some gale force winds here in our makeshift blind that uh, had uh, one come in that uh, wind kind of spooked us off. They sniffed us out. We waited it out and uh, had another sow come in, had two little piglets with her, and uh, we noticed a nice warthog come in yesterday, and we were hoping to come back and get him this morning. Pretty soon, a little later in the morning, here come the big hog. Jerry planted a perfect shot on him. He only ran about 50 yards, shot right through the shoulders. He expired extremely quick. He looked like he flopped over. He was behind the cactus, so let's give him a few minutes. Give him a few minutes. Fantastic. He's a tusker, isn't he? Yeah. Very nice pick. Good shot. Hansel Safaris this morning. I've got a nice shot with my Bush Buck 45. Awesome warthog. An old guy. Got a few battle scars. First one on the ground, South Africa. Well done, Jay. Thanks, buddy. Good shot placement. Didn't go very far. You saw it doing it a couple of circles and roll over. Eh? Simple as that. Yep. That's how it's done, bud. <laughs> it is how it's done. <laughs> it's pretty much, I think, the biggest one on the trip. We took a quick nap and then we headed out for more. When we 
got to the lodge, we were told that there was an old warthog that had been coming in and breaking the fences. When the warthogs get old, they go to the easiest food. And the easiest food is right there in the pastures where they keep most of the sheep. Hanzo Safari, their mainstay is farming sheep and goats. So this warthog, this old warthog had been intermittent coming in and they couldn't quite get him. And he'd been busting fences. A warthog has so much strength, they'll walk right through a fence. They'll take a hog wire fence and just bust it, walk through it like a freight train. So we had come back to the lodge after a great morning's hunt. And as I was walking around by the barn, headed over to the lodge, I look out in the pasture and lo and behold, here's the warthog. Here's the one that has been tearing up all of the fences. So we got a hold of Eric. He grabbed his Bushbuck 45 and we made a great stock. Wait till he turns broadside here. Bolt's closed. Just wait on him, Eric. We had a lot of fantastic foliage. We had wire gates to go through. We had fences to go through, and we even used the chicken coop. The chicken coop was our best blind. As we got behind it and made our stock up along it, the hog actually was feeding close to us, coming closer to the greener grass. Don't see until he's perfectly broadside. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you smoked him. Eric, he's, you got him, boy. I heard that bullet hit. You smacked him. We're going to give him a few minutes and we're going to go after him, see what we can find. Oh, he's right there. I don't think he could have made a better shot. No. No, no that's a good shot. Look at the size of the warts on that thing. Yeah, he's a nice old pigeon. Sure. That's a perfect shot right through the shoulders. Oh, great shot. <laughs> Eric the pig slayer. Got enough for gear shift <laughs> now. <laughs> now. Eric did a fantastic job of taking that pest off of the farm. One good shot, 40, 50 yard run, and he was expired down for the count. All in all, we all had a fantastic time. It was a blast. We had a lot of fun at Hanzo Safaris on this trip. Eric, Jerry, Daniel, myself, and the other guys that were on the ranch, we all took a lot of very respectable, beautiful trophies home. That's it for this hunt. Be sure to tune in for more exciting air gun only adventures. Until next time, shoot straight and hit your target. <laughs> That little dog's got some grit.